Hi, this is Joy with Obsessed with Scrapbooking, and today we're going to make a fun swing card. This swing card is from the Cricut Close to My Heart Artiste cartridge, and I cut it at five and a half. You can see how it cut out here. The first thing I'm going to do is um, score it. Um, there are little teeny lines on there to show where to score it. Since I know it's going to make a typical A2 size card, I just go to four and a quarter and score. So the card comes out as a typical, typical size you would want. Now I have to score the section that's going to be the swing section, and I'm trying to see the little bitty score marks on here. Looks like I got it. Um, a little tip here, whatever paper you want to show on the outside, you need to fold inward to. You'll see here in a second. I'm going to fold in because I want the brighter paper to be on the outside. You'll see how that works. But that's what you want to keep in mind when you're making these. And you always want to use some beautiful double-sided paper because it just makes it so fun. This paper is the Close to My Heart Dream Pop paper pack. That was uh, a limited edition. I chose it because it's just so fun and, and bright and I thought it'd be neat. So there's your swing card. How fast was that, right? Mm, fast. <laughs> okay, our next step is going to be to um, lay in the decorative circles. Now these are spiky circles. They are also from the Artiste cartridge. And I cut the big one that you can see here, this yellow one, at three and a quarter. And the white one is at two and three quarters. So those are our sizes. I go ahead and try to get that lined up so the spikes line up with the spikes. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you how I layered it so that it lines up. Um, and I have an easy way to show you how to stick that down. So I'm just going to get it lined up. Uh, make sure I really like how it's lined up <laughs> and that the spikies match. And then I'm going to go ahead and using my Scotch ATG gun and holding it tightly, hold very tightly. I'm going to go ahead and run that there. And to make sure that sticks in exactly the right place, I just fold that piece of the card down and press. Voila! Perfect! See? Very easy to do. Now, the stamp I'm going to stamp with next came with the Artiste bundle. And you'll see it in a minute, in a minute it's that starburst that we saw. And I am off camera inking it up because I worried my head was going to get in the way here. <laughs> So I've gone ahead and inked that up. I'm lining it up on the cut. And then I've remembered, I love doing voiceovers because then I can tell you all the mistakes. Then I remembered you're supposed to use that, that lovely um, cushioning piece that comes in every Close to My Heart stamp set. Now I'm going to go ahead and get out the Perfect Fit birthday set. Here, here it is shown. And I'm going to use a couple of stamps from those. I've gone ahead and I've cut out a circle in at one and one quarter. And on the perfect birthday, perfect fit birthday set, sorry, it says what size to cut these things out at. So I've gone ahead and cut that out and I'm stamping an outer ring. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp my happy birthday in black. I think it says happy birthday to you in black on there. So apparently I'm inking it up. And here we go. What's great about the clear stamps is you can see through them, so it makes it a lot easier to get things right the first time. Now, a word about these scissors. These scissors are awesome. They are, I'm sorry, not scissors, tweezers. Tweezers. They're cutter bee tweezers. Cutter bee also makes scissors, so forgive me. Those tweezers are awesome because you see they stay closed all the time. They're very inexpensive. You can pick them up at Michael's with a coupon. I think it's, boy, I want to say like $8 before the coupon. Now I've gone ahead. I've got to line up my inner spiky circle piece here to get that stuck down. I like to layer things, as you see, so there's a lot of layering going on here. You do not have to do that. I just thought that would be a little more fun, but, you know, it's all about what makes you happy. Do not stick back here. See, oh, don't do that or it won't swing open. All right. Now all I have to do is I'm, I'm doing this in certain layers so that at the end I'm not trying to stick down something that's got something with a pop dot on it. 
I've done that before, but fortunately that didn't happen here. So just stick that down, stick this down, and zip, zip, zip. There's your card made. Pretty simple, huh? Please head out to my site, obsessedwithscrapbooking.com. Check out my giveaways of weekly giveaways, tutorials, and more. And also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care and have a great day.